What's good? It's Sasha Mox, your coolest MMA nerd, and we're going to be talking about UFC 238, Cejudo vs. Marias. We're going to talk about the main event, obviously, that's going to be for the Bantamweight title as Henry Cejudo defends his newly claimed Bantamweight title against the young, the hungry, and just seemingly destructive Marlon the Magician Mar Marias. But before we get into all of that, make sure you guys click like, comment, and subscribe for more because I'll be bringing you the most predictions, the most interviews, the most top 10, the most MMA content, period. But enough of that, let's just get right into this match. Now, I'm really looking forward into this Bantamweight main event matchup. I like both these competitors, I like both their styles. But let's just jump into the betting odds. So if you're a betting person, remember this was never my opinion into who you should put your money to. But according to oddshark.com, the consensus is about 50 50. Best odd you can get is on Pinnacle for Henry Cejudo, as he's a plus 110 underdog. And the best odds you can get for Marlon Marias is a bet online. I see it's a minus 118 favorite. Now, if you don't know how those odds work, for every $118 you spend, you'll win $100. And if it's an underdog, for every $100 you spend, you get $110. I am quite surprised. I thought that Henry Cejudo would be the favorite, but I can understand why Marais gets the notch on this. So speaking of magic, Marlon Marais, let's just look at his stats. His pro MMA record is 22 wins, five losses, one no contest. He is from Brazil, he's 31 years old. He stands at five foot six inches tall. So he's currently on a four fight win streak. He's currently the number one best MMA bantam fighter, obviously after TJ Dillashaw pissed hot and basically admitted that he was a cheater. So we can look at Marlon Marais and he's only competed five times into the UFC, but he's only lost once. And that was his debut against Rafael Asuncao back at UFC 212 in 2017. But since then he's compiled a phenomenal four and O win streak, beating the likes of John Donson, Aljamain Sterling, Jimmy Rivera, and then getting his redemption over the man who beat him in his UFC debut, Rafael Asuncao at a guillotine choke. That was earlier in 2019 on USC on ESPN Plus 2. What do I think of Marlon's career? I really think that he is one of those fighters that really puts himself out there. Now, at 31 years old, he almost has 30 professional fights. I think that's an amazing feat. It seems a lot of Brazilians have a lot of accumulation on their MMA pro fighting careers. Really, Marlon is one of those guys that's fought in everywhere. He's, you know, compiling an impressive winning streak at the, you can just see right here, just green all the way through being Josh Hill. And he's been some really, really tough fighters. The fact that he was able to beat Rafael Sunsau after he lost him in the first time shows me that he's matured and improved drastically in his MMA career. And he is worthy of that tile shot that he is going to be competing for on June 8th. But let's switch over to Henry the Messenger Cejudo. His pro MMA record is 14 wins, two losses. He is an Olympic gold medalist. He's currently on a four fight win streak. He is 32 years old, so he's one year older than the Magic and his height is five foot four inches. Hall. He's currently voted as the number one MMA fighter of the year of 2019, even though that's not done yet. Currently the number two best MMA flight fighter. I think he's number one. He did beat Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Don't at me. You know, according to Topology, he's currently ranked as the number four current best pound for pound fighter. Uh, now if we focus on his UFC career, we can pretty much capture it here. He's lost twice and he has eight wins. So he's 82 in the UFC. When he first started back in 2014 at UFC on Fox 13, he was able, he was able to go a four fight win streak being the likes of Dustin Kimura, Chris Caracio, Chico Camus, and Husea Formiga until he eventually ran into this first matchup against Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson where he lost viciously if you remember the high real knockout with that knee and then following that eight months off seven months off to fight Joseph Benavides and lost via split decision but since then Henry Cejudo has really put himself in a different level the loss to Demetrius Mighty Mouth Johnson was a quick flash knockout in the first round. Really didn't see a lot of competition from Henry Cejudo's side, but we saw a lot of dominance from Demetrius Mighty Mouth Johnson's side. Following that, the Joseph Benavides was a split decision loss. I thought it was a very competitive match. No, I do not think that Joseph robbed Henry Cejudo, but I do think it was a very close fight. And it could have gone to either side. Since then, he went back and defeated Wilson Reyes and Sergio Pettis. And then, obviously, beat Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's very controversial split decision. A lot of people thought that DJ should have gone it. I think that Henry Cejudo actually did more in terms of taking him down and controlling him while he was on the ground. 
but that is just my opinion. I, I did like the fact that Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson finally lost and Henry Cejudo claimed the flyweight title, avenging his, lo his loss and then moving up to the bantamweight division because if you haven't known the flyweight division is probably x out the door. But then against TJ Dillashaw earlier this year on UFC on ESPN 1, the very first ESPN event, he was able to knock out TJ in just 32 seconds. Now we're gonna look at the matchup, but I think the obvious thing to point out here is Henry Cejudo's strong point is wrestling, while Marlon Marais' strong point is his striking. But both these fighters are both good wrestlers, good strikers, and just elite MMA fighters in their own right. But let's look at the matchup. Henry Cejudo stands at two inches shorter than Marlon. They're both gonna be competing at bantamweight. The reach, Marlon has three inch of a reach advantage. Both these guys are an orthodox stance and Henry Cejudo is one year older than Marlon. So in terms of height and reach, Marlon takes this one for sure. <clears throat> now, if we look at the striking department, again, a lot closer than a lot of people give credit for because of Henry Cejudo and because of his wrestling pedigree. Stri significant strikes landed per minute. Henry has 3.56 and Marlon has 3.23. Now this stat in particular needs to pay attention. Even though Henry Cejudo would land just a bit more, I believe Marlon Moraes, if he lands, will finish the fight quicker and he does has much more lethal strikes than Cejudo. Striking accuracy, this one was a bit surprising. Henry Cejudo seems to be a little bit more cautious and more accurate with a 43 percentage versus Marlon Moraes' 34 percentage. Significant strikes absorbed 2.6 for the champion, 2.6 for Moraes, that's even. And their defense is pretty much even as well. 67% Cejudo, 65% Moraes. I gotta give the striking advantage to Cejudo based on the striking accuracy alone because I give the stri significant strikes landed per minute to Moraes even though, yes, statistically Cejudo lands more, but I feel like he just lands a little bit more flustering and he sets him, his bigger shots up with a few faint jabs. While Marais, if he catches you with any few strikes, could be light out. Now, the grappling aspect is where we're going to see a clear one-sided advantage. Take that average per 15 minutes, so that's three rounds. Henry Cejudo lands 2.3 versus the Magic's 0 0.43. Take down accuracy, 35% for Cejudo versus 25% for Marlin. Take down defense, 88% Cejudo, 60% Marias. Now, who do I give this fight to? Obviously, I think a lot of people are counting out Cejudo, obviously in terms of the odds and just the overall word on the MMA community because he might be the smaller man. And really, Marlon Marais is just looking so dominant in his last four fights. But Cejudo took out TJ Dillashaw, which I thought could have been the best version of TJ Dillashaw we would have ever seen as he completely knocked him out. I feel like that fight solidified Cejudo as a complete MMA fighter to boot. I think because of his wrestling pedigree, because of the momentum behind him, and because of the confidence he has in himself now, I have to give this fight to Henry Cejudo. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think the champion will be able to defend his belt for the very first time against a very dangerous and very hungry competitor? Or do you think Marlon Magic Marais is going to be the new bantamweight champion? Let Make sure you guys let me know who you think is going to win and how. And until next time, have an excellent day.